Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. Okay, so we have Temperance Major Arcana. We have the Knight of Pentacles and we have the Hierophant, also Major Arcana. So Temperance, we see the lovely woman here, or angel here, is um, dipping one toe into the water. She has another foot firmly planted on solid ground. The water is flowing in between the two cups. Looks like her head bits. There's a beautiful, brilliant uh, halo. And in the distance, we see the path here to the sun. So temperance is about finding balance and um, uh, being able to blend or make sure that all the elements of your life are in balance, are being uh, equally attended to. And so temperance, we could also use words like um, moderate. We could use words like not to fall to the extreme, not to have extreme actions or reactions to situations. But temperance is a matter of finding your balance the balance that works within your life. And it's the balance between the physical sense, spiritual sense, mental state, everything put together. And so uh, I always like to see this as kind of also, I, to me, it's a glow, going with the flow kind of thing as well, finding the right flow here between all the elements of your life. And sometimes when we overdo it, or if we veer off to an extreme, you know, it, if it imbalances the other parts of our lives. So we have to make a correction. We have to kind of reset in many instances. And how do we do that? Well, maybe we get back on track with watching what we eat, drinking enough water, meditating, creating sacred space for yourself where you can relax, where you can think, uh, you know, uh, contemplate, but really there's a sense here of, of you having to find the way back to, to gaining equilibrium and finding the right balance of the elements within your life. And if one part is a little bit weaker, then what can you do to improve that? So if that's exercise, if you've not been exercising, maybe you feel out of sorts what can you do? Maybe you can go for a 10 minute walk or something at your lunch hour, but there's little ways that we can do to help rebuild the balance within our life. And that's what temperance is very much telling us this healing sense of pay attention, pay attention to how you feel, pay attention to what's going on. And if you are feeling out of sorts, if you're feeling that you're tipping into one direction, then Think about how you can get back to the middle, how you can find the center that's not going to tax you if you, if you are overdoing it. It could be the balance between work and play. And interestingly enough, you know, with the Knight of Pentacles right here in the middle, the Knight of Pentacles suggests an energy of very much hard work, of focus, dedication, leadership, doing whatever you have to do to get a project completed or to plan uh, and take steps toward progress and toward making your goal. And sometimes this Knight of Pentacles, while, while it's slow moving perhaps and very measured steps that the Pentacles or someone like the Knight of Pentacles would take, it's still hard work and devotion nonetheless. And so maybe temperance here is saying, Hey, you've been really working hard. You've been really putting in the hours to try to reach your quota for the month or to satisfy the client's wants or to start your own business. And you're going to have to take a step back and think about your, the balance that you have within your life. So the Knight of pentacles, again, very loyal, uh, conservative, conservative perhaps, but has a practical and common sense approach. 
and you can see that he's holding the pentacle in his hand and he's out in the field and his horse is stationary he's watching he's looking over the land ensuring perhaps that the that the flowers or the harvest is flourishing and thinking about how to secure the pentacles and that's what his strength is is to building is building that security and building that firm foundation so if you've been really working hard or if you've been grinding on perhaps your hobbies and you're really dedicating yourself and doing a lot you know that's all that's wonderful to do I was gonna say it's awesome however don't forget to take care of your body and your your head and your spirit don't put that off to the side so the knight of pentacles hard work devotion loyalty teamwork taking charge really the hierophant here sits in his chair and he has his two disciples below him and he is knowledgeable and people may go to a hierophant like person for wisdom for guidance for discussions for advice because the hierophant typically represents the the conventions and the structures of our society religion education following down a certain path are we going to you know are you gonna go to school are you gonna go get a, a, a graduate degree then are you gonna do this so um, sometimes we get into these little lanes and we kind of follow we follow along and so the Hierophant speaks to structures and conventions and to rules. It also speaks to um, advice from someone that can help you. So as you're working hard and as you are considering how to get yourself back in balance, you know, maybe it's as simple as you're talking to someone, a clergyman or someone experienced, a, a, a boss or someone, of the organization who is experienced and wise and can help you and to help you find the right balance the hierophant also could suggest that you are uh, you're paying attention to perhaps the rules of a group or an organization but it's very much the collective thoughts of uh, you know of the society so as you can see with the design the disciples here listening learning and maybe there's some learning here involved as well so I would say that to me the takeaway for this is really is to as much as you're doing a great job working hard and really getting it down and making it happen and planning and thinking about it and being practical don't sacrifice yourself and your balance for the hard work and along those terms if you need some outlet or if you need someone who has been there before who can help you or help you navigate whatever path or structure that you're headed through or around whether you're in school whether you're trying to get a promotion within the company there's some sense of hierarchy and and convention here so let's take a look at what we have for numbers we have 14 and 1 is 15 and 20 and 2 is about relationships 2 is about again balance partnerships cooperating with each other and to close the reading, I'm going to choose an oracle card and we will get a little more information. Fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Testing your resolve. Hmm. Well, just in the general subject of fear fear can 
with respect to work sometimes, and like the Knight of Pentacles, the fear of failure, the feel of fear of not measuring up to what's expected of you can drive you to work harder, can, can uh, make you feel that you have to really do things uh, outside of your norm to, to make that happen. It can result in you getting tired or, again, lack of balance. But fear shows its head in so many different ways, you know, from fear of speaking out against others or fear of really speaking our own opinions loudly and, and with conviction, and the fear of doing things, of certain activities, fear. And then people have fears of, of relationships and intimacy or fear of getting hurt, fear of vulnerability. So fear is a very interesting topic because it, is so power, it can be so powerful in how it affects how we act. So testing the resolve to live in the energy of love is that uh, <laughs> try to, I think it was the, uh, what was the book that I read? Face your fears and do it anyway. I think that that's the title of the book. Face your fears and do it anyway. What's the end result going to be? You know, think of what the outcome is going to be if you take a chance, if you try to, um, you know, try to minimize the fear. So I hope that you found something helpful today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up and comment, and then come back tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.